Hi there, beautiful souls. It's Jessie here, and welcome today to a new pick a card reading. Now, guys, in this pick a card reading, we're going to be focused upon your future spouse and your intimate relationship with them. Now, guys, I can tell you that this reading is going to be spicy, juicy, and I hope everything you want to get from it. Now, guys, for that answer, I have prepared four groups for you today, which are represented by these four crystals that you can see in front of you. Now, guys, representing group number one is going to be this beautiful angel or crystal. Tower representing group number two, I have this beautiful fluorite tower. For group number three, beautiful souls, I have this beautiful amethyst tower. And for group number four, I have this beautiful Botswana tower. Now, what I'd like for you to do is just take a moment to focus upon that question like, how is my intimate life going to be with my future spouse? Now, when you've done that, then pick one of these four crystals that resonates with you the most. And then go down below in the comment box or in the description box where you will see the timestamp that will bring you directly to your reading. Now guys, keep in mind that all the readings that I do on my channel are general readings and to always keep following your own heart, your intuition. Now guys, I'm going to start off with group number one and all the other groups, I'll see you in a bit. Group number one, so you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful angel or a quartz tower. Let me zoom in on this beautiful crystal so you can see what is going on right here. You guys see those beautiful rainbow colors within it. I so much love that crystal. Now, guys, in a way, I feel like your the intimacy between you and you guys will have some kind of purity to it so better you guys are stepping into like this whole new realm of experiencing this type of intimacy with this uh spouse of yours i do feel like you guys will be almost like you know experiencing something new it might also be like this is this might be like the first time that you will connect with someone like on that level such like a purity level so i'm really curious about you know what is coming up for you guys within this reading so let's hope to get like the first card that will tell me more about the chemistry and intimacy about you and your future as past so we've got here two cards that are three cards that are actually popping out so let's see what we've got right here okay <laughs> four cards i just couldn't just like let that one go okay so first off we have this card of self-love i guess with the self-love i truly feel that the intimacy here will be also with you just loving yourself and allowing that person to love themselves and i feel like for you to experience the fully fullest of the intimacy that you guys will experience with your future spouse is to actually learn to love yourself first and to um, open up so you can receive that love and uh, open up to that intimacy from another person because i do feel maybe that you guys have been hurt so much in the past that you um might have become kind of like a pleaser so maybe you were so focused in other relationships just to please uh, that other person that your own needs were just not being met and that your self-worth was like going like below and below and below because you are always focusing upon that other person now in this a beautiful marriage and connection that you will have with this person is going to be you know you realizing that you matter and this person is going to show you that you matter that there is a place for you in this world in this relationship so you're going to feel so so much worthy within this relationship now keep in mind that intimacy is not all about you know what goes on in the bathroom it is also about you know how you express your love towards each other and how you communicate with each other and how you hold that tight bond uh, of what you have with each other so I do feel like self-love is going to be really really important for you in this relationship then we have patience this is a really really beautiful card now with patience my love I do feel that within this relationship as I said like it's all about you getting to know yourself and accepting that love and I do feel like your partner is going to be really patient with you and also you know vice versa if that partner needs time then you're going to give that time also i do feel like if you haven't been intimate with someone before so let's say if this is going to be like the first time because of maybe religious or uh culture beliefs or anything like that 
that person is really going to respect that. So that's really, really important. At the beginning of a relationship or of a marriage, you want something, someone that truly respects you and that respects your boundary. So if you want to take it slow, that will mean that this partner will follow that and will actually respect you. While maybe other people thought, you know, I will say that I respect you, but no, I will go like faster than you want to. This person will actually take their time with you. I also feel with this patient card that maybe this person will not come very, very soon into your life that you need to be patient because maybe you need to work on that self-love before this person can come into your life because you want to be open up to receive that love from this person. Otherwise, maybe this person will walk past you and you will not notice that because you're not ready yet to receive their love. So I feel like there is a little bit of a task for you to open up to that love, to open up that you're able to receive love instead of being the pleaser in that relationship, instead of always, you know, putting other one's needs first so that is going to be really really important for you also with this patient card guys the third message that i'm getting is that um within the love area within how you guys communicate within how you guys will be intimate with each other this person will take their time with you they will always kind of like build up to that tension build up to that moment because they truly want to enjoy every second with you they don't want to rush into things they really want to always you know have that preparation before they go in and do their thing or do your guys things because you matter in this relationship so let's move forward to fear so we've got your fear and i definitely feel with as i said like that self-love there is like no room for you to be afraid within this relationship because that's like no longer needed within this relationship so i feel like you're going to be uh, releasing all of the fear, all of the anxiety that you maybe experience around this topic. So it might be if you're someone who's not completely, you know, love that sexual thing, or maybe if you're someone who hasn't experienced that before and you have a lot of anxiety, maybe because of the past or maybe because it's just like an unknown territory to you, that will be all taken away because this person will reassure you every step that you take. So definitely that purity that sweet and soft and tender um, vibration that I'm getting from this angel court tower is coming back into this reading okay and guys such a beautiful card I'm like oh it's so cute uh, so your heart is guarded it's guarded and you can you can actually interpret this like in two ways you can feel like you're guarded and just not allowing people in that really correlates a beautiful with this self-love card and also with this fear card so it actually really matches completely but I also feel like with this guarded card guys I mean it just shows to me like how this person will guard your heart I feel like it is so important to them that you feel safe and secured and loved at all times. So I feel like they will actually guard you. They will actually make sh just sure that nothing bad ever happens to you, that no one is able to break your heart again. So you completely will have the trust foundation before you guys move to a deeper state of that intimacy. So how beautiful is that? So let's hop now into um the tarot cards and see like what type of other message we can get for you so we've got here the two of swords now with the two of swords i definitely feel that at a time maybe that you will meet this person you'll kind of like have some doubt you kind of like maybe um fear like you know do i need to can I like really open up for this person? Can I really allow them into my heart? Because there is definitely some, you know, self-worth issues, some doubts going on here. So keep that in your mind when this person comes into your life. But don't worry, you'll get it because you'll end up marrying this person, right? And then we have here the 10 of wands. Wow, there is so much going on with you, group number one. Oh, I feel, I feel like, I feel like so much, you know, just pain and sadness here going on for you and 
Uh, don't worry because I do feel like this future spouse of you will make that all disappear because with this ten of wands, that burden and that stress and that anxiety that you're carrying with you and as it it might be that you know maybe from culture beliefs or anything that there is like some pressure being made like upon you or that you feel around this topic or you know something that's really sensitive to you don't worry about that all of that stress you will notice that it's like all going to be like for nothing all the anxiety and all the fears and all the stress that you have about this topic is all going to be gone with this partner and we have like this unknown card and with this unknown card i truly believe that this person coming into your life will just come up and just like pop up like you won't like even know like what's happening <laughs> to you until this person kind of like stands in front of you and be like oh dang you're here how cute how wonderful and i love you and it won't be like that easy <laughs> as i like make it sound right now but it will be like okay i i will build like into it you will feel totally completely safe with this person and that intimacy will grow it will definitely grow and it will be something that you will grow with each other um, at that pace that just fits both of you so let's see what we have oh my gosh i've been like talking about religious factors at play here and definitely this card popping out shows me that there might be here religious factor in your relationship that will make that intimacy much harder or that will make that pressure to have that intimacy a lot harder for you so a card can like fall down so sorry for that uh just need to grab it oh my god and let's see here is the card it's safe for you to love i mean i just just i cannot like see anything else because it's gorgeous what i have here for you so i do feel as i said like there is some type of religious factor that's here at play so um your love life might be influenced on you know a religious factor or culture beliefs or just like beliefs that you have on your own and how you want that intimacy to be and it might be that these um factors will block you from opening up to someone because sometimes we have um beliefs because we've been through something and then we put up like a guard up just to make sure that it will never 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 be heard again in love but sometimes we need to open up to see like the other way on how it could be with that perfect someone that matches us and that's like exactly how it's going to get down with this person and with that safe uh it's safe for you to be love card it talks about you know how you have to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy okay and that's exactly what i've been talking about within this reading it's going to be really really important for you to open up your heart even though it is kind of like hard especially if you have been through some traumatic experiences um to open up to this person because they have like a lot to offer you wow so many cards like popping up i'm going to go like over them all so sorry it's going to be like a little bit of a long reading okay so we have the card of the control and with this control card i definitely feel that at time to time you might want to just um control things so it might be that you want to control how you meet this person that you want to control your intimacy that you want to control like everything and that is also like a factor especially if it comes from like a religious uh, background or if you come from a cultural background or your own beliefs that is something that is um you know keeping you from moving forth within this intimacy if you have it or if you're going to have it um keep that in mind because if you want to control situation it's going to be like really hard for things to flow open and freely okay so we have reawaken the card of reawaken now with this card i definitely feel that you know there is oh you cannot see like that card when i put like that um with this card of reawaken i do feel like there's something going to be when you open up when you finally realize like okay this person is worthy of my time and my space and my love i feel like something is going to be reopened reawakened within you that you're going to feel um that you haven't like 
experienced in a really long time or haven't experienced before because now finally you're letting your guard down you're allowing someone in and you're experiencing that love you're experiencing that intimacy on a higher and deeper level and that's going to be something that you know is really really beautiful so we have the heart of grateful and i definitely feel that you know within this relationship within the intimacy this person is really going to value value what you're going to bring in into this relationship what you guys have together this person is really going to appreciate you and it's going to show that you know with words with gestures and stuff like that and then we have this card of positive minded people okay and with this card i definitely feel that um to open up your heart is to focus now on um, realigning yourself with beautiful positive people around you those people will help you to change your energy and maybe change how you think about certain relationship or even intimacy within the relationship so beautiful group number one this was your reading i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one Hi there, beautiful group number two. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful fluorite tower. Oh my God, I love this beautiful color that this one is. It's really soft and gentle. So let's hop into your reading to see how the intimacy is going to be between you and your future partner. I kind of like feel a giddy energy. I feel like a lot of fun, a lot of kind of like playfulness between you guys so um if you guys are up to play with each other come like having a lot of fun with each other how you might interpret that that is like all up to you guys if it's like a very very sexual that is good if you're not that is also good but know that you guys will have like a lot of good times so uh, first up we have this guarded card like guys, with this guarded card, I do feel like right before you meet this person, you might be very, very guarded. You might be like someone who uh, really is maybe afraid to commit to someone or just true experiences within life. Maybe you put up like a guard, a huge fence, like, okay, no one is entering within, you know, my heart, my area or anything like that. And I know that this person that comes into your life will just melt that all away you will not believe that but just maybe within their love within how they communicate with you within how you know or what energy they will bring to you that will just completely melt your heart i feel like there will be literally no defense there anymore like okay now you'll be talking like real you know tough or anything like i'm not ready to show you know let anyone like in my heart or something like that i feel like a tough person um in group number two so it might be that you're really really guarded like i'm not really ready for love or you know i'm ready but not ready to give like my all i'm just like going to be like real cautious but then when you meet like this person this person is going to peel like all those layers and just kind of like walk right into your heart huh i just like whew. okay so then we have the card of control and with this card of control, I definitely feel in conjunction with that guarded card, I feel like you will definitely feel like you will lose control, you will lose that grip over yourself. That's like how the intimacy will be like between you guys. You'll definitely feel like, oh my God, it's like, I, I just like can't control myself. It's like going so, so freely. It's like going like so, so you know natural this all comes like natural i will feel you know uh super excited i will feel like you know you know where's all of this hotness coming from or something like that so then we have the card of heartbreak now with this card of heartbreak i definitely feel that uh the reason that you heart has been like so guarded for a really long time is because maybe you are super super afraid that someone will reject you or that uh, you will go through a heartbreak. So maybe you have been through a heartbreak that has been really tough for you to get over or that you have experienced something where you saw like, oh my God, 
I don't want to experience this anymore and I do know that a lot of us has those types of experience within love so we get like all guarded up we get like all like tensed up because we don't want to get like hurt like that ever again but I do feel like within this you will actually um, it will go maybe faster than you think because the sense that you'll Finally, it will go like supernatural that you don't need to control it, that you don't feel like, oh, I have to be like super guarded, even if you wanted to. So let's move to the tarot cards to see like what else is happening for you within the intimacy of uh, your future spouses connection. So we have the ace of wands right here. Now, what did I tell you guys? It will definitely feel like, oh my gosh, I need to go for this. Like maybe you won't even, if it's like, if it's like something that you naturally do, like you naturally think things over, uh, naturally, you know, um, just put your guard up, you know, get like all defensive. I do feel like with this person coming into your life, it will feel like, oh dang, I have to move forward with this person. It will be like such a passion, such like a fiery energy coming into you like oh dang i didn't know like this could be like love i didn't know like i could feel like this good to be like with someone when it completely matches you when everything kind of like flows naturally you don't you you will not feel like unsafe and that's the thing like you know we get guarded when we feel unsafe or when our intuition tells us like you need you need to be guarded or something and sometimes just sometimes it might be that our intuition is a little bit off because we have those past experiences but with this person it will completely feel natural you will feel like the will to move with this person and vice versa it will be like okay we want to go for each other and i do feel like in a way it will move like really really fast like, okay, then let's let's go for it. With this heartbreak, it might also be that, you know, the person that you end up marrying has cost you a little bit of heartbreak in the past, but now you guys are ready, you know, to move past that. That's just like another, you know, thing that I've just got. And then we have the Ace of Swords right here. And I do feel communication is going to be really, really important within the intimacy. I do feel like you guys are going to uh, talk about the things that you guys love and enjoy and how you guys want to fill in the intimacy with each other because sometimes we kind of like step into a relationship and we think that we know how another person wants to um, feel or you know how they want to receive love but I feel like with you guys you guys are going to talk about it what is important to you guys and you know what do we want from each other so that is going to give you so much insight and it's going to bring like so much truth to the table that is going to help you guys to build up a solid intimacy relationship and beautiful energy with each other now then we have this king of pentacles now the person that you end up with i do feel is going to be someone who really um is very communicative but also maybe you know someone that totally completely speak their mind they are just going to say what they have to say, whether sometimes we like it or not. But being that honest with each other, so maybe you're also like that, but being that honest with each other, with this communication card, is going to help that intimacy, you know? When you guys are saying like, oh, dang, no, I don't, I don't want that from you, that person is really going to listen to you, okay? Now, having also this swords card, we could be talking about Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini person that you might, up, uh, might end up marrying. So let's move on to the next uh, oracle cards that I have here for you. So let's get to the other cards and see what else is coming for you. So we have this card of flirt, <laughs> so good because I actually saw like there is a very playful energy between you guys, even though that you guys like talk a lot, um, it could also be that you guys communicate a lot like through, you know, very flirty words or kind of like goof around with each other or make like those funny jokes with each other that only you guys understand, um, you know. Um, flirt with words or just you know words that have like a double meaning for you guys or something like that so i do feel like a beautiful uh relationship coming in here 
Oh my gosh, you guys, we have the card of very soon. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, but this, this Ace of Wands and this kind of like a very soon card, it might be that this person will come into your life like pretty, pretty soon or that you guys already can like know this person with this heartbreak and that it will move to a deeper level. Um, but I definitely feel like this will happen very soon. And also this intimacy building, if you guys don't have like anyone in the horizon, building this intimacy with your future spouse is something that will happen very, very soon. As I said, like, you know, all that guard, will be melted away and it will feel like just naturally like you guys coming with each other and just like being like okay bang i didn't know like this could be like this easy this could be like this fun we're having just like fun and everything is flowing just kind of like freely between you guys so let's see what is coming up here so we have the card of learning so within intimacy, I definitely feel that learning will also be, you know, a huge part of your relationship. So you guys will learn a lot from each other by talking with each other, by being intimate with each other. And of course, that talking will help to bond and to learn and to grow from each other and also to learn on what other the other person finds interesting or finds, you know, to be intimate. So what will help you to deepen your uh, bond uh, together. And then we have here the card of ruminate and the card of ruminate i definitely feel that um you know for this intimacy to start up happening it's going to be to allow this energy just to flow freely i feel like it's going to happen like really fast but for you to keep in mind even if something happened really fast even if something moves quicker than you have in mind that it doesn't necessarily have to be like a bad thing so keep an open mind because you'll end up marrying this person so it's definitely not something bad you know um so to let like everyone's opinion about your relationship just like be you know what they want to say about it and just not to take it like really personally but just to follow your own intuition within uh, your intimacy with each other so beautiful group number two this was your reading i hope that it resonated with you if it did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here and you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you around for now thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one Hi there, group number Tracy. Here we go. You're drawn to this beautiful amethyst tower. Let me zoom right in for you. Now, this beautiful uh, crystal represents that connection that we have with the spirituality, but it also is a crystal that really helps you to relax. So I do feel like whatever connection that you will have within your uh, intimacy will be some that is really peaceful, maybe even mature one. So guys, the first card that I have for you guys is the card of flirt. Wow, so whatever you guys have that chemistry going on, it's definitely going to be something that is really playful. I do feel like you guys um, have like a very playful energy. You guys will flirt a lot, whether it is like through, you know, touching to gentle to texting, um, through just uh, speaking with each other. I do feel like there is a huge flirt energy here and that's something that will not just like go out through the marriage i do feel like you guys are both a very flirty person um so it might be that you guys are a fire sign or something like that um but or even have like a fire sign within your chart but i do feel there is like a very huge um kind of like chemistry between you guys and that's like the reason that you guys will flirt a lot and that you guys will compliment each other a lot or kind of like you know make each other feel whew, really good and that's something that you don't see a lot so we have the card of the self-worth and the reason that you guys will flirt so much with each other is because as i said like you make each other feel like really really good and that's really important within the intimacy that you make uh, each other just feel kind of like worthwhile kind of like um that they matter that they're important to you so um it might be that you guys speak or will have the same love language so whether you like it to just be complimented or that you guys you know love 
to just speak up just say to each other you know i love you like so so much not everyone is like into that not everyone likes to you know talk a lot about that but i do feel whatever love language that you guys will have that will be uh shown within you guys because you find it really really important to show each other how much they are worthy to you and i feel like the way that you guys will do that is through flirting with each other just to um make your partner just feel like super sexy like they're hot and they're matter to you so that's really really cute and expect that also the other way around because this person is definitely going to make you feel really hot and guys, I have here the card of the fun. And I also kind of like have like other cards, but let's hop into the fun cards first. So what did I tell you guys? I do feel like there is a lot of fun and flirty energy right here with you guys. Um, so yeah, definitely you guys will have a lot of fun with each other. Um, a lot of laughing, a lot of just like enjoying, traveling even maybe, those are things and that people don't really think about but they could really help within uh, to create that intimacy between you guys because little moments or little kind of like getaways or you know little kind of like giddy things that you guys will do with each other will kind of like help to grow that intimacy between you guys because those are experiences that no one else has with that person except you so that will help to uh, make you trust this person and feel like you are completely in love with this person that you can share so much with this person i also have the card of trust right here and i do feel like trust is going to be something that really speaks for you guys you guys are going to have a lot of trust within this relationship because i do feel that this person as i said is going to make you feel like you're so worthy of you know of just like being there they're going to really make you feel like a king or a queen in a way and that is going to help you to trust them in whatever they do and trust is really important within intimacy right uh when we trust each other we can completely let our guard down we can completely enjoy the moment enjoy you know the touching and the feeling and stuff like that so it's definitely all about trust so if you have been hurt before in the past if trust was an issue in the past if you needed to check upon other people like in the past to confirm that they were only intimate with you this person is going to be completely loyal to you and they're going to show you that um it's going to be like really really clear um because they're really going to flirt with you and make you just feel like super fantastic and also romance is a huge part of your intimacy so i do feel like you guys uh you will have like this partner who's absolutely adoring you who's absolutely flirting with you having fun with you but also taking time to have really intimate moments so whether it is taking you to a nice restaurant or whatever it is to give you a nice massage or just like uh, doing things that you find romantic because I'm just like going by my own things like what do I find romantic but of course it's up to you to fill out all of those things all the things that I'm saying are just kind of like um, examples that you can go by but really showing you that um, you are important to them by doing a romantic gesture so whatever that means to you and that's really really cute so let's hop into the tarot card deck to see what messages, what else you can get like for you. So what is going on for group number three within the area of intimacy? Let's see what else you can get for you and your future spouse. So we have this card. We have the five of ones right here. Now with the five of ones, I definitely feel that more people will want to be uh, romantic or, you know, have like that um, energy which you guys will have within this um, relationship. And also in relation to this trust card, it might, it might be that in the past you guys have been in relationships where you guys has it gonna like fight, fight for that person you know where you have to do like so much for a person to be intimate with you whether within this relationship is going to be something that comes easy and naturally to you guys but i also feel like there's going to be maybe a lot of jealousy coming from outside because a lot of people will envy this connection that you have and i mean how can they not it's 
it's like super cute and super kind of like perfect um but yeah you know perfection is for everyone different so for me this is this is like perfect this is like super cute okay so uh keep that in mind with the seven of cups right here i do feel like as I said, like there is maybe a lot of competition for this person. This person might have like a lot of options, uh, but that doesn't matter because they will only choose you. So keep in mind, like even if you know people are jealous about you guys, they they will deserve that trust. They will be loyal and faithful to you. I do feel like maybe uh, you know on the outside you guys will look like really good as a couple. People will might be really really jealous of you guys. So don't worry about that. You will have like all their attention. So with the nine of wands right here, I definitely feel that, you know, having this person in your life, it's not going to be easy uh, for you to get maybe to this person. So maybe there are like a lot of things that you have to conquer before you meet this person, before this person comes into your life. But you know, it's going to be all worth it. It's going to be so, so worth it. So don't even uh, stress about this person. Um, this person is definitely worth waiting for. So we have children. So your love life is being affected by children. So this might simply be that there are children within place. It might be that you or the other person already have children. Um, but don't worry because you will end up marrying this person. So. You know that says like a lot so if you go like stress and like oh my god i don't want like someone who already has kids it's not going to be affected in a negative way by it it could be that this person just has kids also this could be that you guys will start like on the baby making really soon um because maybe you guys want a large family or just want kids or are at the stage where you guys want to start building up a family whoa what's like all this all these cards are flying out what did i say guys oh wait <laughs> keep an open mind keep an open mind about this person okay so if you might have like gone like oh dang no i don't want this i don't want kids keep an open mind they're saying okay just saying just saying the guys are like so cute i love you angels for just like being there <laughs> And just like bring some humor into this reading and then guys we have a wedding so I do feel like a wedding might be really important for you guys in some way uh, so if you guys want that marriage really soon then this person will definitely follow because they have that same thoughts they have that same ideas about wedding so the next card up we have the learning so I do feel like um, being so so good with each other it's also uh, learning about each other um, it's going to be a lot of learning about uh, or learning in this relationship growing with each other because there are a lot of things maybe that you see now differently that this person will help you to become a little bit open-minded about or help you to see a different perspective about things and then we have alternative we have alternative now with this card of alternative i do feel maybe that maybe in the past you felt like you were the alternative option that you weren't like number one however as i said like this person is definitely even though they might have options even though if you might have options whoever it is you're going to feel or make you feel like you are the number one and it is going to be like that so never ever doubt within this relationship this marriage that you know you're not enough that you are the second second best so that is something that we need to keep within our mind group number uh three that if you have insecurities about that that there is no need within this marriage to have that so then we have a receive healing which actually correlates beautifully with this card of being alternative but also to have like an open mind so if you're someone who really quickly just jumps like into their shell like saying okay this doesn't match it, what i think or what i think it should be and i don't have like a place for this person within my life just to keep an open mind because you never know how people might surprise you in a pretty pleasant way to show you that they are a true match for you and also in that way you can receive healing for things maybe that had uh, that has made you the way that you are to think like so um, narrow-minded so I do feel like there's going to be a lot of learning uh, aside from all that 
you know, fun and, and beautiful energy and flirty energy that you guys will have. So group number three, this was your reading. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hi there, group number four. So you're here because you're drawn to this beautiful Botswana crystal. So let's hop into your reading. Now, first off, I don't know, I feel like this person might be very, very adventurous. The one that you're going to meet, so also adventurous in, you know, the sexual area. So, whoo! So, first off, we have the card of gifts. And I do feel like the way that you guys like to be intimate with each other is by surprising each other with gifts. So that's going to be something that um, I speak to both of you guys. And it doesn't have to be maybe gifts into really uh, buying something for someone, but just like showing little things of appreciation. Those things could also be like a gift for someone else. So keep that like really in mind. And I do feel like gift is going to be a way that is really going to help to build up that intimacy between you guys. So that might be your love language or the other person's love language and i do have here the card of maturity and with this card i definitely feel that whoever you're going to end up with marrying um that this person is very very matured and that is because this person um has been like through a lot within life they have experienced a lot within the relationship so they're going to be very very matured within that area i don't feel like this is going to be someone who's going to rush into things they're really um thinking about your emotions your feeling and what really is important to build up a steady intimate relationship with you so this is someone who really wants to make you stand out and put in all the effort into building a solid uh, ground for you guys to have a beautiful relationship that's really really beautiful okay for a marriage this is amazing so then we have the card of the spark i do feel like oh maybe you were getting like all in your mind okay maybe we will like take it slow or something but i don't think so i feel like you guys have like this spark this beautiful connection with each other that only you guys can ignite a between you guys like something like that it's like you know maybe you haven't felt like this with any other person but with this person you'll definitely feel a lot of chemistry so maybe if you thought you know being intimate with someone was kind of like all dull or maybe you haven't experienced that and like chemistry with each other or all fiery that energy you know having like that intense connection with someone or even just longing for someone intensely that is going to change within this relationship you're going to be in for a surprise that gift right there <laughs> you're going to be in for a surprise there's going to be like something really really beautiful coming your way so then we have the Four of Swords right here. Now, beautiful soul with this Four of Swords, I do feel like from time to time that you guys will have to rest, take a rest from this intimacy because I do feel like, oh, there's a, like a lot of fire and passion and energy. And from time to time, you guys will take it a little bit slow just to uh, take it just a deep breath and just to realize, you know, how much you guys care for each other. So I do feel like there is maybe a two side to this relationship. You guys like a love to get like or sparkly with each other, uh, like to get like all hoo-ha with each other. But at another time, maybe we just like to lay together and just like enjoy each other's company, which can also be very, very intimate. So that's really, really beautiful to have. We also have here the Page of Pentacles. And I do feel like with this Page of Pentacles, um, it might be like someone who truly loves music, who, who likes to play music or something like that, or loves to listen to music while being like, um, intimate with each other it might be that you like to listen to music while just like you know making love or something or that it just helps you to relax and calm you down especially with this four of swords card but i do feel like music will play like have like a huge role within your relationship and also within the intimacy so it might be that your future spouse will be like someone who plays music or who will make some music to you um or as i said you guys will have like that music while you guys are intimate with each other or just music will help you to get into the mood or something like that okay so let's see what else we have here 
we've got the temperance card and with this temperance card i definitely feel like you guys will um take it like real slow to enjoy these senses and just enjoy being with each other um especially with that maturity card i do feel like this person who you're coming with is someone who has maybe experience on that area so they know how to please you they know you know what will get you and with this tree of sword i definitely feel like all maybe the anger uh, maybe even bitterness or you know heartbreak that you have been experiencing within the past will slowly melt away with this person coming into your life it will be something that really elevates you to the next level and i truly feel that within this relationship you'll notice that something has definitely changed and has changed for the better um and that's really really beautiful to have within this relationship right within this intimacy with this person so let's see what else we have with these beautiful oracle cards for the intimacy so we have the card of deception and i do feel as i said like maybe past relationship um has been really hard on you with this three of swords and also this deception maybe someone wasn't being honest with you in the past and that is something that you are taking with you maybe that is the reason why one of you are taking it slow or maybe just has matured over this experience like you know oh wow this could also happen so i need to be careful with that but coming together that experience is actually going to bring you guys closer so maybe you guys are going to talk about those experiences and that is also going to help you to build up that intimate life together so we also have the passion card right here and it's right above that spark card so definitely there's going to be a lot of spark and a lot of passion between you guys i feel like the energy is kind of like a telenovela i don't know like why that's even like coming to my mind but kind of like a telenovela i feel like you know jane the virgin type of energy here i don't know so definitely like some good steamy moments uh right there with you guys and that's because you guys are turning all the negative energy into putting it into something that's real magical to you guys or will work for you guys and that's just gorgeous that's just gorgeous to have so let's see to the last oracle cards to see what else we can get for your intimate life with your future spouse so we have mental repetition so with this card i definitely feel that you will finally get like a piece uh of mind when you are this when you are uh, with this person you will finally feel free uh, you can let go of, you know, any mental issues that you had. So maybe if you were even experiencing mental issues because of everything that you've experienced, that is all going to melt away with this person because this person is going to make you feel real, real good. So let's see what else we have. Acceptance. I do feel having this intimate life with this person is not going to be like a come easily but in the, um, in the long term, it's going to help you accept all of the past traumas that you have experienced. And then you'll be okay, you know, maybe I've experienced them for a reason. Maybe I needed to experience them to be where I'm at now with this person. Because of all these experiences that I had, I could like literally be my fullest and I can enjoy my life with this person. So there's going to become an acceptance about what you experience, and that's also going to help you come a little bit closer to this person within your life. So group number four, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you around. For now, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.